Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to use an Excel macro in order to find the last row in a spreadsheet or the last column in a spreadsheet. If you'd like to get this workbook and or the macros you see, go to teachexcel.com. You can search for the video tutorials there and download um, the spreadsheets along with them. So anyway, let's go ahead and begin. Um, what I've got here is a sample spreadsheet of say five weeks of sales for stores. So you're always expanding so you may have more stores here you know D, E, and F or they could be sales departments or sales men you know or sales women um, but the point is the spreadsheet's going to continue to increase down and to the right but you need your macros to be able to account for that so you don't have to update them all the time well here's how you can do it. It's actually very easy to do. The two shortcuts though I'm going to be using are Alt F11 for the VBA window and Alt F8 to view macros. Just take note of that. So let's go ahead and hit Alt F11 to open up the VBA window. And I've already got a couple on here actually but let's go ahead and remove all of this. And start over. So select your workbook go to insert module and name it okay so let's create or let's first create a macro to <clears throat> find the very last column since every week we're going to have a new last column and what I want to do when we find it is to select it so what we're going to first do is type in range. I've worked with the range object quite a bit before so you should be familiar with it by now or check out a, an earlier tutorial. But anyway, what we want to do for this to work is to select the last column that we would like to check for to see if it has a value. So let me quickly go back here. So for the range you select, say if you know for a fact that no data will ever be past column K. Well, you can use column K as the range right here because you know no data will ever be past that. So what this is going to do is whatever column we put in here, that's going to be um, where it starts to search from. So if I put column Z in here, it's going to go to column Z and search to the left. So it'll go like this. It'll go all the way over to Z, start here, and then go to the left until it finds a value. Now for the, or for the range, we also need a row. And that's going to be the row that it searches in. If you select row 3, it'll find the um, last column that has a value in row 3. If you do row 1, it'll find the last column that has a value in row 1. So if it was row 3, it would select this cell. If it was uh, row 2, it would select this cell. So that's how that's important, or that's why that's important. So let's say we know that no data is going to be beyond column Z ever. So we can do Z, and we want to check in column 3 because we know that there will always be data in column 3 for the um, most updated week. So Z3. Now put a period and what do we want to do? Well what we want to do is to find the end basically. We want to find the end of where all the data is. So this says go to Z3 and go left. Well when is the first um, cell with data? So you type end open parentheses. You have three options here. Excel to left, Excel to right, and Excel up. Well, since we're going to column Z3 and we're searching to the left to see if there's any data in a column, we want to do Excel to left. Close parentheses, period. Now, what do we want to do when we find the cell with the last, um, the last column with data in it? Well, for this tutorial, we just want to select it but there are a lot of other things that you could do. Um, the only one I'll mention right now is if you want to return the number for the column 
um, to use in the macro, type column here. So if you want to get the number for the column, type column. That's commonly used, but for now we're just going to select it. Now let's go ahead and run the macro. So Alt F11 to close that. Alt, Alt F8 to open this window. Run the macro. And we can see that it selected cell F3 because this is the last column that contains data when searching row 3. So just to reiterate, range Z3, that means that this macro is going to go to cell Z3 and then search to the left to find the next cell that has a value in it basically. Then we're going to select that cell. So this is how you can find the last column. The important part is just which row you want to search. We searched row 3. That's for the last column. Now let's go ahead and do the last row. It's going to be very similar to this. So we start out with range. And now what we want to do is to select the column where we want to go up and down. So if we go back to the spreadsheet, the column that's always going to have um, up-to-date data in it that we want to check is column A. Because if another store is added, we want to know that. If someone randomly types a number in here, that doesn't matter to us as much as if a new store is added here. So that's why we're going to check column A, and that's why it's very important that the um, columns and the rows you select or you use in the range uh, property here, it's very important that they're correct. Um, so column A, and now we need to choose the row that we want to start searching up from. So let's just say 100,000. So we have a huge company, but we know that we will never have more than 100,000 stores. Close quote, close parentheses. Once again, we want to find the end of it, so dot end, open parentheses. This time, what we're doing is we're going to sell A100,000 and we're going up until we find the last row with data. So what we want to do is Excel up, close parentheses, dot. Now we're going to use select here just so that we can visibly see what happens. But what is oftentimes used, oftentimes used here is row. And that's going to give you a number for the row. So it's going to tell you what number row is the last row that has data in it. That's oftentimes used um, to um, get a number back for your macro so you can put it in another property or argument. But we'll stick with select for now. Let's go Alt F11, Alt F8, and run this. And there we go. It selects cell A5, store C. So this is the code to search uh, or find the very last column. And this is to find the last row. Don't forget the most important part right here. This says we're going to go to cell A100,000 and go up column A until we find data. When we find that data, we're going to select the cell. This says we're going to cell Z3. Then we're going to go to the left until we find data in row 3. Then we're going to select that cell. So that's what these two um, things do. And that's how you can create a macro, to f a macro to find the last column and the last row in Excel. If you'd like to get the workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial. You can download it there. And that's it.